What's up nerds, Keon here with Nerd or Die, and today I'm gonna show you an awesome and free tool called Photopea, or Photopea, or Photopea. Anyway, no matter how you pronounce it, we often get asked if there's a free way to edit the Photoshop files we provide with our stream packages. And today, I'd like to say, yeah, there, there actually is. Let me show it to you. I've personally never heard of Photopea until this week, but after looking into it, it's actually pretty amazing. It's essentially Photoshop Lite. The interface is so similar to Photoshop that I instinctively was navigating my way around the UI. It's definitely not a Photoshop killer, but if you find yourself wanting to use Photoshop only a few times a month, this might be a really useful tool and can save you a few bucks along the way. As an example for this, I'm going to download a free panel pack from our site, which includes a PSD file for those of you that want to tweak the design a bit to really personalize it. Next, extract the zip onto your PC anywhere you'd like, and keep it close by as we're going to use it in just a second. Finally, go to photop.com. From here, you can either drag your PSD file into the browser or use the file open function. And here's where the fun begins. If you're a Photoshop veteran, this should look really familiar to you. I know I completely forgot I was working in a browser the other day. I haven't tested everything, but from my experience, almost all of the critical functions happen to be here. Just a heads up, PhotoP does an incredible job scouring a huge database of royalty-free fonts, which we often use in our projects. If it doesn't import the fonts needed, you can normally find the font with a Google search or a link in the downloaded file. Install it into your machine and reopen the PSD in Photop. If you don't do this, Photop will automatically replace the font with a fallback font once you touch the text. And before we start touching anything, I recommend checking all these boxes. It's going to allow for some quick and accurate editing. Changing the text is easy with the type tool. Show or hide layers by toggling the eye over the layers panel and even tweak layer styles and effects by hitting the arrows shown here and double-clicking the effect. Let's change the gradient to blue. One really handy feature inside of Photop is that like Photoshop, you can create smart objects. So now that we got a design that we're going for, we want to apply it to the rest of the panels, right? Normally, you would have to write down your settings or copy and paste individual layers to new artboards, but with smart objects, you can remove all of those steps and speed up your workflow. In this example, I want to copy the background and apply it to all the other artboards. For the sake of time and effort, I'm going to reduce the artboards to just these three. Select the group over here, right click, and create smart object. Next, copy and paste this layer. At this point, I would disable auto select and enable distances. Drag the duplicate smart object into the layers folder of the panel you wish to update. Then with your mouse, click and drag the smart object to the position where it needs to be. I like to enable the distances information to get them perfectly centered. Then rinse and repeat this for as many panels as you'd like. Now, what happens if you get all your panels set up and you decide you hate blue? You just absolutely hate blue. Double click on any of the smart objects and open up the contents. Make any changes you want to the contents, then hit Control S or File Save and close it. And just like that, it's updated every smart object. Cool, right? All right, the panels are perfect. They accurately represent your hopes and dreams. You're ready to put them to use. All that's left to do is go to File, Export As, PNG. Make sure that Export As Artboards is checked and click Save. It'll automatically create a zip file which you can extract and enjoy your new custom-made Twitch panels. And that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Let me know how you pronounce Photop in the comments below. Personally, I read it as Photopia, like Utopia, and the creator says Photop, but apparently the creator of the GIF says it like GIF, so take that any way you want. We also have a Discord, so if you'd like to get in there with like-minded streaming individuals such as yourself and discuss this tool, or have any questions, comments, or concerns, jump in there and we'll be happy to lend a helping hand. 
I've been Keon from Nerd or Die, and I'll see you guys in the next one.